What if you could run faster, think sharper, and even grow bigger just by breathing? Oxygen. It's in your lungs, your blood, and that one plant you forgot to water last week. Right now, Earth's atmosphere is about 21% oxygen. But what if that number jumped to 31%? What if you stepped outside and every breath you took was supercharged? What if Earth gave you a little performance boost without the drug test? Welcome to Imagine This, where science asks the weird questions, and we actually try to answer them. Today's thought experiment, what if Earth's oxygen levels were 10% higher? Now, let's start with the fun stuff. More oxygen means more fuel for your body. Muscles perform better. Reaction time sharpens. And fatigue? Delayed. In short, you're not quite Superman but you might beat your personal best in a flight of stairs, or at least stop wheezing halfway up. Elite athletes would love this, but even everyday people would feel stronger, faster, and more alert. Your brain uses about 20% of the oxygen you breathe. With 10% more in the air, your cognitive function could get a lift, sharper memory, improved focus, maybe even fewer awkward pauses in conversations, though no guarantees on remembering where you parked. You still will become Einstein, but you might finally remember why you walked into the kitchen. So far, this does sound like a win, but over time, your body might struggle. Too much oxygen can lead to oxidative stress, damaging cells and accelerating aging. So yes, you'd lift heavier weights, you'll be jacked, and prematurely wrinkled, like a very fit raisin. Your lungs might adapt, but your body's delicate oxygen balance could get thrown off. And for people with certain conditions, like COPD or asthma, this environment could be dangerous, not helpful. Now, something else to consider. Humans aren't the only ones breathing. Plants would thrive in this extra oxygen world. Faster growth, greener leaves, bigger crops. But so would insects. And not just in number, in size. Remember the giant dragonflies of the Carboniferous period? Yeah, we're talking foot-long bugs that treat window screens like tissue paper. Yay, evolution. Now for the downside, fire. Higher oxygen means flames burn hotter and faster. Campfires become blow torches. House fires spread like gossip at a family reunion. Even a small spark to turn deadly. Wildfires would be more frequent and more intense. So maybe don't light a candle near the curtains. All this extra oxygen, it mess with much more than just your body. Combustion engines, they'd run hotter, possibly more efficiently, but also more prone to overheating. Airplane engines would need retuning. And yes, it might help if you're okay with every flight becoming a chemistry experiment at 30,000 feet. Medical oxygen storage would also become trickier. Even deep sea diving gets riskier with higher chances of oxygen toxicity. Basically, great for jogging, not great for jet fuel. Now, could oxygen levels actually rise by 10%? Technically, yes. Massive global reforestation, fewer emissions, or even geoengineering could boost levels over centuries. But Earth's atmosphere is a delicate cocktail, and one wrong pour can ruin the mix. Small changes can have big consequences. The last time oxygen was that high, some organisms thrived, others extinct. So considering everything, what would a 10% oxygen boost really mean? You'd feel superhuman, briefly, but fires would rage, bugs might book up, and over time, your own biology could betray you. Oxygen is life, but too much of a good thing is still too much. This is Imagine This, where science gives curious, weird, 
and just a little over oxygenated. Subscribe for more what ifs that breathe new life into reality. And remember, sometimes balance is the real superpower.